Greetings, brothers and sisters. I wanted to share with you uh, a clip from the late Dave Hunt regarding Catholicism. Uh, he does a really good job of explaining some of the ways that they teach uh, their parishioners how to get to heaven and what they need to do if they're in danger of not making it to heaven. Um, the reason I'm highlighting this is because as a former Catholic, I remember a family member using one of these uh, unbiblical methods known as a scapular to uh, supposedly help assist me in making sure I didn't go to hell. Now, later on, I came to believe in the gospel of grace and got saved at the age of 20 years old. And then shortly after reading the Bible and studying Catholic teachings, I came out of the Catholic Church in order to reach Catholics. Um, I've heard a lot of people say, well, I know a, a Catholic that's a Christian. Well, that might be true, but I always advise them, if you truly love and care about this person, um, you will tell them what the Catholic Church actually teaches and then tell them to leave the Catholic Church because they're not going to do anything to reform the church. They tried that uh, 500 years ago with Martin Luther. And so the best way to witness to Catholics is to leave the church to expose the false gospel and the false Christ that they are teaching. So here is this clip from Dave Hunt that I think you will find helpful. Uh, probably a lot of new information that you have never heard before. So here is that clip by Dave. There are false gospels out there. And I'm, I'm not going to go into it in great detail, but I want to explain to you that there is a false gospel in Roman Catholicism. I don't know how many Catholics you have around here, but this is the biggest problem in the ecumenical movement today. If you're not an ex-Catholic, you don't know what this is. This is a scapular. The Pope has worn it since childhood. Millions of Catholics wear it. And on this end, listen to what it says. Whosoever dies wearing this scapular shall not suffer eternal fire. Well, we have a good supply of them back there, and Rennie will sell them to you for $100 each. Everybody would surely want one, wouldn't you? No, you don't want one. I ask you a simple question. Anyone who wears a scapular and trusts that promise, have they believed the gospel? They haven't believed the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is a false gospel. Now, this is a, uh, a mass card. I don't know about here, but I can tell you in the United States, you call any mortuary, they all have mass cards. It says, in mem this is today, folks. This is not Middle Ages. This is today. Uh, it says, in, in, in fact, Vatican II says, if you deny the validity, the efficacy of a scapular, anathema to you. You are damned to hell if you don't accept it. And, and you know, I sometimes meet Roman Catholics and they say, well, I don't believe in, in this is an indulgence. Uh, it knocks a certain amount of, you know, time off in purgatory, whatever. In fact, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, uh, uh, who first appeared in 1322 to Pope John the 22nd and gave him the great promise, the Sabbatine privilege, she said, uh, the Saturday, all those who die wearing her scapular, the Saturday after their death, she will go into purgatory, personally take them out to heaven. Uh, well, there is no purgatory. The Bible doesn't teach it. But anyway, the, the Catholic Church anathematizes you if you don't accept this. Anathema to you, that means eternally damned, excommunicated if you're a Catholic, and eternally damned. And sometimes, uh, uh, in fact, often, there are a lot of Catholics who, who don't agree with a lot that their church teaches. Uh, and I like to solemnize them a little bit. <laughs> ask, you have a Catholic friend, ask them, do you know the six holy days of obligation? There are six holy days of obligation, and you must go to Mass on each one of those holy days of obligation. And if you do not, it is a mortal sin. Oh, a lot of Catholics don't even know the holy days of obligation. They are damned. They don't even know it. It is a mortal sin. And some of them don't agree. I mean, we have polls in the United States, 70% of them disagree with, with the 
with churches stand on contraception or on abortion. Or, or, in fact, there are more Catholics that get abortions than the, than the average, uh, the, the, the rest of, the, of society. That's amazing, isn't it? Uh, and, and I have Catholics who, that I meet and they say, well, we don't, we don't believe in, in, in um, scapulars and indulgences. But I say, your church, the highest authority, never mind what your priest says, never mind what some Catholic theologian says, this is the highest authority of the Roman Catholic Church. This is the councils of the church. This is the catechisms of the church. They have damned you to hell. They have anathematized you if you don't accept this. And then I say this to them. If you don't fear their anathemas, why do you believe their promises? That's a good question. You might ask them. Anyway, I'm sorry to take too much time. This is um, a mass card in memoriam. It says, with the sympathy of the sacrifice of the mass will be offered for the repose of the soul of you fill in the name of the deceased. You give that with an offering to the priest. He will put it on the altar when he says mass. And that will reduce the suffering in purgatory of that poor soul some unspecified amount. You don't know how much. So you have to have mass after mass after mass after mass. A friend of mine, his father died, and he said more than $2,000 in mass cards were purchased at the funeral. And they will sell you a, a, another mass card with this, uh, 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 this thought. The one you buy could be the one that opens the door of heaven. <laughs> but it may not. So then you buy another one and another one and another one. Now, folks, that is not the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's a false gospel. These people are in fear, fear of purgatory and so forth. And, and they're hoping, you know, that the church will get them to heaven. And yet we have people who are unite, leading evangelicals in America who have united with these people. In, they're going to uh, evangelize the world, uniting with Catholics who have a false gospel.